Hello everyone. So my name is Paul. I'm going to tell you how Collective Our Work like uh, uses Datadog to ship in a resilient manner um, every day, and also to prevent bugs like uh, arriving in production. So first of all, what is uh, what do we do? Uh, Collective Our Work. So we're a platform allowing teams of freelancers aka collectives, to operate and get access to opportunities with clients via a marketplace. So our app is used by hundreds of uh, freelance teams, and we want to ship as reliably as possible to make sure uh, everything works, of course. And so how do we use uh, Datadog uh, browser testing? So uh, because we're huge fans of, the, <laughs> of Datadog browser testing, each, each new branch push deploys uh, a preview environment. So every time we push code via PR on GitHub, we deploy a preview environment. And on this preview environment, 30 Datadoc browser tests uh, written uh, by us are going to run directly. And so they, they're going to check if everything's safe. And also, every time uh, we uh, deploy to pre-production and production, um, we run those tests. So we make sure like when we deploy, uh, the, when we have a pull request, when we deploy to pre-production, when we deploy to prod, everything uh, is in order. And uh, we know that uh, all our main paths, uh, all our critical paths uh, are tested. So let me do you a quick demo. So here is an example of, uh, of a pull request. Uh, here, actually, we create a new data log test. And uh, here we have uh, the CI step where we run the data log test. So how does it look? Well, it looks like this. So um, in the, on this step, you're going to see uh, all the tests that I have run. And uh, you can find them actually here in the data console. And uh, here, uh, where uh, we're going to check, uh, for example, the password reset test. So if I just check it here, um, well, you're going to see I navigate first our, on, on our app. Um, then second step, I create a user in database. So just to make sure we're going to log in with it. Uh, then I'm, uh, well, we're going to hit reset, uh, reset password with, uh, with it. So here I, I, I click on forget password. Uh, so I check we arrive on the reset uh, your password. Uh, I'm going to enter the email, the Datadog email. So this is one of the incredible features uh, Datadog uh, gives you, it allows you to send real emails on the real mailbox that they check. So we can really make sure our whole uh, email pipelines are working. And this is gold because uh, a reset password not working is uh, uh, obviously problematic. So here I'm going to hit reset password. And uh, um, you're going to see here that I'm going to check thanks to data, that an email was received. But I'm going to do more than that. I'm also going to uh, click actually on the link um of this reset password and uh, from there uh i'm going to arrive on this page reset your password uh where i'm going to just enter a password that's going to be uh i mean uh, we've activated uh, the um, the fact that we can see it so i'm going to hit reset password and from there I know uh, my password has been uh, reset. I can see, I see I'm still on the sign-in page and I'm going to enter my new password. And I'm going to go through and arrive on the beautiful collective page. And from there, we're good. I know that, uh, I mean, I know that I arrived and I'm not anymore on the, um, on the login page because I actually do a, a, a final test. So this is a whole example uh, this is one of the tests, and uh, there's actually uh, four, 30 more uh, tests that we run uh, every time we do a single commit uh, on our pull request, uh, on our, uh, every time we deploy in pre-production, and every time we deploy in production. Uh, Datalog is goal for that, uh, also because that test, of course, uh, automatically adapts, so we don't have to make changes often, and uh, they're actually quite easy to set up, so, and keep improving. <laughs> uh, I mean, the product keeps improving every day. So uh, really, uh, I mean, strongly recommend. <laughs> Thanks all.